the father of Maëli, the six-year-old girl who was stabbed 80 times to death by her mother in Hochelaga Maisonneuve in July 2020, is suing the DPJ and the Quebec Health Ministry for $3 million. The girl's mother pled guilty to involuntary manslaughter and received a 10-year sentence. The father's lawyer, Valérie Assouline, joins me. Thank you for your time. Thank you. The lawsuit claims negligence uh, by the DPJ that they failed to protect this young girl despite numerous reports. The DPJ actually closed the girl's file. Can you explain this to us? Well, actually, there were four reports uh, from 2019 to 2020. Uh, three months prior to the murder, there were uh, two reports, and DYP decided to close the file and to leave Miley without any protection. Do you uh, feel that this girl's death could have been avoided oh, had absolutely. this file not been closed? Absolutely. Had this file not been closed, the death of Miley could have been avoided. Absolutely. Because, you know, um, when there is drug abuse, when there is um, health issues, when you have uh, such a fragile um, mother, um, you can't leave a, a six-year-old without protection. And had this case been taken care properly, well, we wouldn't be here today. Miley's mother received a 10-year sentence uh, for the murder. How does the child's family feel about this sentence? Devastated. Uh, that actually was devastating for the father. Uh, the fact also that he learned uh, the atrocity of what happened to his daughter, um, 80 stamps, it, that was something he did not know, and he learned at the trial. Um, so I could tell you that the family is devastated, and they want things to change. Can you break down what um, exactly you are requesting with this lawsuit? Well, requesting a uh, monetary, uh, of course, and but that does not replace, of course, Miley or, uh, you know, ch a, a child life matters. And uh, that's what this lawsuit is all about. We cannot have a child that deceased because we fail to protect her and no one is responsible. So that needs to change. Each child's life matter, uh, number one. And then uh, we want to avoid that to happen again. So we want to make sure that there is an inquiry of what happened, why we closed the file. Now we're going to prevent this to happen again. Because what I can tell you today, as a lawyer that works across uh, the province, there is still red flags that are being ignored. And we are still going to have unfortunate uh, death of children because we fail to trust family or to see when we have uh, this signalement like this. So that also needs to change. It's like the culture doesn't change. There's a political willingness to make things change, but unfortunately on the ground, it's not changing and that needs to be addressed. Okay. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much.